Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. It's very early in the morning here, probably not even four o'clock yet. But I'm up and about moving around. Probably will have to take a nap this afternoon. But I want to talk about a, a subject. I have seen it in a comment, I've seen it in an email, and I have actually talked to two people in person. And they're saying, why hasn't anything happened? You know, I guess because of the media, uh, probably because of YouTube, probably because of a lot of influences, people thought that uh, something was going to happen that we needed to prepare for immediately. These people sort of are a little bit discouraged that nothing has happened. Um, they're, they're probably also questioning themselves, saying, why did I do all this? Why did I spend all this money? And nothing's happened so far. Probably some of them are feeling some pressure from uh, loved ones or friends that, you know, maybe said, yeah, you're crazy, don't prep, what are you talking about? Why are you, why are you getting paranoid? So probably some outside influences are making them feel this way. I have been prepping for 30 plus years. So I probably have gone through what they're gone through right now and they're doubting, and why did I prep? There's nothing happening. There is things happening. It's a slow, slow decline. You know, some people thought it'd be this cliff that boom, boom, would fall off of it. No, what's happening is a slow decline of uh, morals, of, of government, of definitely economically, we are declining without a shadow of a doubt. It's getting worse and worse. So don't be discouraged. Prepping is insurance. And none of you probably, you know, after a year of paying your, your insurance on your vehicle, say, dang it, I didn't use my insurance on my vehicle. I wish I'd gotten in an accident so I could at least use what I spent. Prepping is total insurance. So don't don't get discouraged. It needs to be fun. Prepping needs to be a bunch of hobbies um, that are put together, and the end result is, hey, I can take care of my family. I can take care of uh, all, all of our needs. And to me, that's what it is. I have all these hobbies that they blend perfectly together uh, into the prepping, from firearms to gardening to my orchard to... to you know, learning medical first aid, uh, from recycling, using stuff that I can find and get around my homestead. And the list goes on. All these hobbies, everything I do, reloading, uh, communications, they, they all blend together. And, and basically, I call it prepping. So, while you're, while you're, while you're prepping, it needs to be fun. If prepping is not fun for you, you need to modify your prepping plan until it's fun. Rabbits. You know I raise rabbits. I don't anymore. I, I've raised them off and on for uh, 20 years. They were no longer fun to me. you probably saying, oh my gosh, Southern Prepper 1 is giving up on rabbits. Yes, I sold them all or ate them all. I have all my cages, I have all my equipment, and I, I have friends that have rabbits, so if, if a collapse happens tomorrow, guess what? I, I can get a couple does from them and a buck, and, and I can fire my rabbit production up. But, you know, it wasn't it wasn't fun. I was like going out there to take care of them, to, to water them, to do all that. And I was like, I'm not having fun anymore. Get rid of them. And you need to be like that. If something in your, your life that's directly related to prepping is not fun, stop doing that section. Stop doing it. You know, you might have everything you need put back so you can fire it back up. Me, rabbits were no longer fun. And, yes, I was getting good quality meat. But, you know, it wasn't sustainable. You know, I was buying feed from the feed store, bringing it home, feeding the rabbits, getting, getting the rabbits, getting the meat. But if, if you cut the feed store out, yeah, I could still raise them. But it'd be a lot more work. I'd have to really produce some more food for them. It's just not giving rabbits grass or hay. Uh, they need a protein. They need to be able to produce a lot of young. And that doesn't come off of, hey, just let your rabbits out in the grass. It, it, it's not as, not as helpful. You need protein. Plus, if you release your rabbits, you better have a, some type of chicken tractor or rabbit tractor because they'll be they'll be gone 
make prepping fun and do not be discouraged saying oh nothing the world hasn't ended that is good I don't want the world to end I love going to the store and buying a half gallon of chocolate ice cream and bringing it home I love that I love going to the movies with my family or my wife I like traveling jumping in the vehicle and say hey let's let's run over there and go to that restaurant or let's run and see some friends that's living to me I like doing that if a collapse happens all those good things that we enjoy we're not gonna have them anymore the only thing I look forward to in a collapse or is a complete reset so we can get back to some fundamentals um, we can throw out some politicians that are corrupt we can throw out a lot of systems that are corrupt so yeah you can say Southern Prepper one would like a collapse just so we can have a reset start over um, and, and build uh, the way our founders wanted us to not on the system that we have now with these corrupt politicians so I guess to sum it up don't be discouraged we're on this slow decline hill the end results is still we're going to end up down here it doesn't matter if it's a, a cliff or a slow decline and yet people might say something and say hey I thought you said the world was going to end it's just a slow process. If you're a new prepper, yeah, you're going to have to adjust to that. I, I guess I've already adjusted because I've been here for 30 years. Hey, keep prepping fun. Thanks for watching.